Hello everyone and welcome to an official Doom Builder 2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at map analysis. So the first thing I'll do is come up here to mode and I'll go to map analysis mode and I'll hit start analysis and you'll see that I have several examples here of errors that can be created in Doom Builder 2. Now the first thing we're going to look at is this sector 1 is not closed and sector 3 is not closed. So if we click that, you see it shows us exactly where those errors are. And we can see that this is an error by it's highlighting the sector, but it's not highlighting the whole thing. And there's also not a texture on either of these sectors here. So I can highlight them and see where the problem is. So I'll close this and I'll start working on this. And this is a problem that can be easily sometimes created with the way you're drawing your lines out. Granted, it is much harder to do in Doom Builder 2 than it was in Doom Builder 1, but it can still happen. So now I have two options that I can fix this. I can either come in here to Lines with Defs Mode, select one of these walls and figure out what sector number I'm supposed to have. So we see that it's supposed to be sector 1 up top. Okay, so I hit Cancel. Now I can come in here and select these two lines right click them and I know the back side is supposed to be sector 1 from the way the lines are facing so we see that it is sector 2 currently so if I switch out the sector 1 and I push OK you will see that I get that texture which means that this is now a completed sector but we're still having that problem with the bottom sector so I'll do the same thing there I'll right click one of the lines go to the side defs and I will check what sector number it is, which this is 3, so I'll hit cancel. And now I can select these two lines here, go to side defs, and you see they are also sector 2. So I'll change the back side to 3 and push OK. And you see that it fixes all three sectors the way they need to be. Now that is more of a complicated way to do it. There's another easier way, much easier way to fix this problem. So I'm going to control Z to undo those. And to fix this easily, all we got to do is come up here to mode, go to make sectors mode, and I can just click these two sectors. So you see that it automatically will fix this problem here. So with that finished, we'll go ahead and come up here to mode. We'll go to map analysis mode, hit start analysis, and you see that the sector 1 and sector 3 errors are gone, which means that they're fixed. So the next thing we'll look at is this line def is missing both sides. So we'll click that and see where it is. And you see it's pointing to these three lines here. So I'll close this map analysis mode. And now if I go into line defs mode and select one of these lines, as it said, neither the line has no sides on it. It doesn't have a front or a back. So in this case, I'll just hit cancel. I'll just come up here to mode, go to make sectors mode, and I'll click this and that'll create a sector and this this once again is one of them errors that uh, you don't really see a lot in Doom Builder 2 but it is possible to do if you're not careful about how you draw your sectors so I'll come back up here to mode go to map analysis mode start analysis and you see that those errors have now disappeared as well so if I come in here and I look at side def is missing upper texture and I click that you see we got these errors here now okay now I can just add a default texture to it if I just needed a quick fix but I also wanted to show you how this looks in game so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do a test map okay so here I am in game and you see I got this weird effect going on and this is actually my door here if I open it you see it I see the bottom texture, but the wall textures are not appearing. This is because I forgot to actually set a texture on this wall here. And this basic effect is known as a Hall of Mirrors effect, also known as a HOM, H -O -M effect. And that basically usually means either your sector is not made right or you are missing textures. So in this case, I'm pretty sure I made the sector right because the door is opening correctly. So I'm going to say that I'm probably missing textures on this wall. So I'll go ahead and exit out. Okay, so this is a pretty simple fix. I'll just come in here, select these two walls, come into side desk, change their upper texture to a door texture. 
and we should be good. So if I test it this time, see that my door now properly has a texture. And it does so for both sides, so I'm no longer getting that effect. So I'll go ahead and head back into the editor. Alright, so that's done. And one more thing worth noting is that if I actually had put a texture in by hand, which I can do by right clicking, going to side defs, and typing in these uh, text boxes here. If I had typed a texture that was unknown, like just texture, you see I still have the question mark because it doesn't know what texture that is. If I pushed OK and loaded up in the vanilla Doom engine, with a unknown texture it'll actually crash the engine so we'll just leave that at big door 2 and the last thing I wanted to show you was something more along the lines of a kind of a don't do this while editing kind of thing you'll see that um, I have two separate sectors here now if I happen to drag one of these lines over into this sector you notice I get a big old arrow with this sector now because the doom engine can't figure out what you're trying to do when you're dragging part of this sector into another sector now I can drag you know anything within the sector to around itself but as far as dragging you know another part into a sector it will call it create an error it's the same thing when you also create a sector here so I really create a sector here in the middle and you see if I mouse over it with sec in sector mode notice that it highlights correctly but if I click this and I right drag it over to another sector you see how it's still highlighting when I put my mouse over this sector and then if I highlight it and put my mouse over this it's kind of acting all weird that's because Doom, the Doom engine is going to um, mess up because it doesn't recognize what you're trying to do with it so you kind of want to kind of stay away from that. I mean, dragging things and, and other stuff into different sectors is fine, but I would stay away from doing it with geometry, or you will create a lot of errors for yourself. So with that, that pretty much wraps up this lesson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next lesson.